Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel. Um, basically here to show you um, my techniques and the results. Um, so if you want to do this yourself then um, just check the channel out. Okay right guys um, I'm showing you this one because um, I keep hearing it on the radio basically so I thought I'd have a look in my files and um, I had something which is quite interesting and I've done a couple of videos on this um, and uh, they're old videos um, and the impression I get with my old videos is um, that I don't enlarge things enough so people can have problems seeing stuff but go and check them out um, there's two videos they're quite long um, but there's so much information in them, that's the reason why I do it. Okay, right, so the plume of water from um, Enceladus, or Enceladus, uh, uh, Enceladus, I think that's right. Anyway, okay, right, well here's some information you can go and have a look at. Um, here's the image in question. So it comes in quite large, but the DPI is quite low. And I'm not sure if I featured this one or not. But here we go. If you can hear piano playing, that's my neighbor. Okay. So there you go. Come on. All right. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to try and make this a quick one, but I thought I'd get it out there because this is far more important than some water plumes. Um, however, they know it's water plumes or not. Anyway, this is the image and this is how it comes in and I've taken a crop out of it. Um, and it, It's quite weird because this is the narrow angle camera, um, but it's, it's coming in. It looks like one of those radar images. So. I'll show you the area which I cropped, I think. Yes, yeah, it's this, it's like this area here. Um, this is the original, so you can see where it starts pixelating, like this. Um, and the white spots, everything is bleached out as usual. So, um, okay, let's go and have a look at the enhanced version. Um, if you're new to all this and everything, yeah, um, they are. Uh, I'm showing you the results, and I will show you some of the, uh, the techniques and the, the enhancement in action. But I'm probably not going to do it today because it takes ages. Um, so what I do recommend that you pause and um, just view the image. A good place to start is with um, shadows or dark spots. Dark spots will indicate um, lower levels or shadows cast by um, objects. Okay. Now this one might actually work quite well on phones um, because of its blockiness. Uh, and if you are new to this, you're probably going to dismiss it straight away, but please don't do that. Um, you have to spend a little bit of time um, working this stuff out. Um, and it's not me hallucinating or anything like that. And I wouldn't have done like 70 odd videos um, tripping out on myself basically um, it's all there it's undeniable um, and it's so frustrating um, anyway I'll try and get on with this sort of thing uh, so we take into account the shadows and I'm just going to blow it here. To me, this is difficult on my screen um, 
at the moment on your phone it might work quite well so on the other videos it's um, like I say I don't think I've um, uh, zoomed in enough um, for people to see stuff especially on their phone it's just it's not even worth looking at it you need to use a large screen basically okay so you can see these formations here um, this line for example just so you can start working this out would be the highest point these areas here are cast shadows we can see the shadows so and that will start your brain looking at it in a more three-dimensional way so I'm just gonna fly around this and show you some uh, details I've got in. this area was quite blurred you can see this area is different and this is something we um, come across a lot where there's random blurring areas or deliberate blurred areas which make it much much harder to pull the, the details out but if you check this area out here you will start noticing the geometric formations the, the raised areas the lower areas the connecting points and this isn't um, pixel anomalies on stuff because it wouldn't be across the whole image this is the information in the image and it's the same with all the other videos can we see all this This is not compression artifacts or digital blunders or whatever. This is the information in the image. And if you study them, give yourself time. Then hopefully you'll see what I am seeing. It's crazy. I heard on the news and it was like, oh, there's a water plume and it, and it might be... It could be life, but it won't be like us. Well, just take a closer look and uh, tell me that this doesn't look like it's intelligently constructed and laid out. see all this So don't dismiss this just because you can't see anything. Um, you need to give yourself time to open your eyes, open your mind, and just take this stuff in. Just scan it and look for familiar stuff. Right, it's no. This is a problem as well because a lot of it is so unfamiliar. And your brain tells you it doesn't exist. It's as simple as that. You 
Let's see that. Yeah. Also, I think I've featured it's around it's about thirty plus or something different planets, moons, asteroids, all with very similar um, structural anomalies. So you can see the difference in it here. The more blurred an image is, the longer it will take to uh, push and pull the tones of the pixels to try and get some clarity back into it. Like I say, this is a, a file that was there and I just finished it off quickly yesterday. Here's a classic terracing layout. Okay, I have to zoom in and out because it gets quite um, confusing for me when it's right up in my face and there's a there's like an optimum zoom that I use. Can you see this here? going to stop myself because this is why the videos are so long normally but the reason why I do do this like I said in the last video and all the others it helps you concentrate on what I'm obviously working on and uh, you can see the structures appear you can see this line runs through This is the underneath area. You can see where these go down towards the ground. See this here? Go back up to there quick. On these platform areas, which we see all over the place, um, are spires or towers sticking out the top of them. A huge one there. You can see the difference from this sort of plain Jane to detail. I just saw a spy then. Okay. See the layout. This and there's the shadow. See the connections.
And if you think I'm crazy and it's a waste of time and you're an intelligent person, you need to ask yourself, you know, what if this is real? And the fact that we are being lied to. Not by the immediate people from these organizations and stuff, because they're they're completely brain um they believe what they've been taught and the people who have taught them believe what they have been taught um it's simply not the case and my motivation to do this um is basically um i want to know if i've been lied to and i, I know i've been lied to So if you don't, if you're not getting any from this, please do try the other videos um, and it will start making sense. And that's it. Anyone with any brains um, would want to know why this stuff isn't spoken about. Because basically it's hidden. So you can't see it in the, in the first place. So there's no, there, you know, there's no question. Ah, there you go. So I hope you got something from this. And uh, guys, I have got some flipping mental stuff coming up. Look, it's up there. But I'm not going to show you. Um, nice one. Thanks. And I'll see you really soon. Cheers.